We are here on the Goudplaat in my province, in Zeeland. And this is a place where uh, Galloway cattle and conic horses live more or less together um, on, the, on that place. When you want to do investigation uh, research, you first have to be able to identify each individual. And I can assure you that if many horses look more or less similar in color and the out outlook, it gets a little bit difficult to make sure that you know the difference between each individual. My goal is to investigate behavior, horse behavior, because I want to see how they um, develop them, their behavior and how they deal with several things. <clears throat> Perhaps it's also a little bit meant to uh, stop uh, saying that one mare is always leading and one stallion is this and that and this. anyway. Uh, perhaps you have followed some of my movies and you have seen that I have also been um, to other wild horses and so I think I know something about doing investigation and something about horses. <laughs> um, when well, this was the first time, this is the first time that I'm visiting this place and we pretty soon saw the horses so it makes me happy to be able to make some pictures. Studying the individual uh, differences is interesting. You start to focus on details and I think also for people who own domesticated horses, um, looking at the individual differences, um, details is very, very good to do. You can see that the mares uh, are having some, some kind of plants in their um, in their hair and I don't like that to see that but anyway I think they're, they're thistles and I know there's a story that it's something else but never mind that I do know that they fall off um, when the hair is, is down uh, it's it's that's the only way they they lose these things on the tail of a foal you can see more or less the age a very short tail is a very very young um, uh, foal uh, longer tail is an older foal and from as far as I can see now, I think these foals are from this year's this year. I only see one stallion, um, and the total amount of this group is twenty horses. There are nine mares. This was my dog interfering in this movie. <laughs> there are nine mares, one stallion. Um, if I'm correct. Um, Of course, I was mistaken. I was. I'm checking now. Um, ten mares, one hay, one stallion, and nine foals. And here you can see a mare drinking, uh, giving, uh, allowing her foal to drink. And I don't know if you have seen it in the beginning, but you could see that she bit uh, the foal in the bottom, which is not a place to worry about. But I think, um, but that's an interpretation. I think she did it because the foal uh, already has teeth and was hurting her. And the foal is. Uh, ready. What you see a lot happen is how the foals block the mares. They just walk in front of the mares so they, the mares have, have to stop. The food on this place, now she's ready. Now she's walking away. <laughs> Look at the foal a little bit. Hmm. Um, the food here is, is amazing. There's a lot of food and you can see a tree on the back which is looks very um, well eaten. Might be, I don't know, but but there's enough food and there are no trees like like on other places who are cut by the horses because they're terrified have terrible hunger this is a well uh, you could almost say paradise for for these horses and i think as far as i can see now the condition of these horses is great making a movie um, of the environment just a first impression and this is the male. This is the male horse who is, um, well, just being there. Um, he's watching his, his herd, his band, I can say band. But the difficulty, uh, if you only have one stallion and several mares, then actually there is no competition and then, well, horses will stick around together. So I have to find out and I have to um, think it over if this is a real uh, interesting group for me to investigate because only one stallion is only one stallion and horses stick together so anyway we'll see about that um, I have another group in mind also uh, on our island in the south of the Netherlands 
Um, and what I heard is that they separated in two parts, which is also uh, interesting. Then we might see some competition here, an individual photo, another individual. And I do this to be, uh, so I can study the details and look at the difficult differences and, and things that uh, might show up like, hey, and now I can recognize this horse or that horse, two foals watching us. When you are there, um, well, the beauty of the, the calmness of the herd, as I call it, you see the plants in the hair. The herd, the, the, the calmness, the being quiet, playing of the foals, um, being together. And until now, and I have also been, you see there a golden foal, a golden color, we call it, I think we should could call it a fox and a black one. All marks of um, domesticated horses, I mean, um, Pshawalskis, for instance, they don't have these long hairs either. Pshawalskis uh, have only one color, there's no mutation in color at all. So this is also a sign that they are feral, that they are domesticated. And actually, <clears throat> scientific spoken, there's only one wild horse left, which is the Pshawalski. And people are talking about Tarpan, but nobody knows if they really existed. We only saw some drawings of them. Here you can see the Golden Fall. I think it's a very beautiful mare. And she's, uh, the sun was going down and she's really, uh, well, I love her color, so that's why I made some extra photos of her. She will be easy to recognize. There's no no issue on that. It gets a little bit harder when you have foals uh, or horses of the same color. And the next picture you will see that there are three differences. You can see the differences in color. I'm not going to criticize anything here. Um, what I see is calmness. What I see is peace. And there are no marks of... of fights or other things, which makes sense. I mean, there's only one stallion, uh, so there is no competition. In this group, uh, I noticed there were two black mares, and uh, well, let's focus on the details of, of getting to uh, see the difference on the black mares. A temporary detail might be that one has a shorter tail compared to the other one. Um, another detail, oh, I was looking what are you doing? Well, I'm making a movie. <laughs> Another detail might be um, um, look at the face, see at the, if, if there are spots, for instance, a white mark or something. Now you can see the difference in between this, this full male foal and mare foal. There's a small difference. Ah, they're now investigating my husband. I always like it if, if horses are investigating something. And it seems that this guy, this foal, um, was a little bit excited by the, the meeting he just had with the mare foal. They're not sexual mature yet, but, well, might be uh, something interesting. We'll see about that. There you see the other black mare uh, at the back. And she has a pretty long tail, so probably I have to look at mane to the right, mane to the left, uh, whatever. And there's the... The male horse. No, it's a female. Sorry, I'm mistaking. This is a female. So you see how hard it is to make uh, sure that you're recognizing the individuals. And oh, now I have a seri. I think this is a very beautiful seri because this represents so well how young horses um, talk things over, which is not uh, really expressing. But they look at something and then they look at each other. But these uh, started to, to play. And this, these are the typical mouth plays you see on, uh, on young horses, but you also see them on more mature horses, playing together, playing with their mouth, um, talking things over. I call it talking. It's not really talking, but it is communicating. And there's another mare. She was very long time next to the male. I can't, I can't film it. <laughs> I can't movie when they are so curious. Expressions. I think these horses are uh, very, very beautiful. They're very pure. They're very um, sober. So they don't need a lot of food and they can deal with all kinds of weather circumstances. This is also a typical social affiliative behavior. And they're very rough. And um, well, we'll, we'll see um, how the investigation will go. And I also have to 
think it over. Another foal drinking with his mare. You can see the mare again biting. Hey, don't hurt me. Um, and the foal is not exactly polite. Distracted by me, shaking his head or her head. I don't know even sure if this is a mare or a, a, a stallion. Anyway, male, female. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to try if I could get very close so you can see how foals are, are drinking and how careful they have to be. And the second mare I saw bite in the bottom of the foal. Nothing aggressive, just a, uh, hey, come on. If you look at it from this side, I think it's beautiful. This is, he's very itchy in his stomach. <laughs> and again, my husband uh, with the foals, they're investigating him. He's just looking, he's not allowed. Uh, I didn't allow him to move at all. And the, the foals are talking to each other. What do you think? Uh, what do you see? Things like this are very impressive. And in most investigations, uh, foals do, do not count. I don't know why. Um, Here's the mare with the stallion next to her. I don't know why, because I think foals are also very interesting. They show a lot of social behavior. This is the male. And perhaps even more social behavior compared to the matures. Most mares are not so playful compared to foals. I mean, foals play all the time. They have fun. They, uh... And nobody knows yet uh, why animals in general play. And my answer, and I know it's an interpretation, but I still do, I love this picture, this mare on the side. Uh, about play, why do they do it? It doesn't have a function. Uh, nobody yet has given a, a plausible answer on that. And uh, my answer would only be because they like it, because they like to play and, and they have this energy. And But that's my interpretation. Okay. Um, so... Perhaps um, you will join me on, on this journey. I'm planning to observe these horses for quite a long time. And then I'm talking about uh, three or six months or even 12 months. Um, so you'll get to know them and I will be able um, to, to know them by individuals. Um, and I love this moment. And this is a foal who's enjoying the tree and, and really doing his favorite thing. This was the moment before the horses um, more or less moved and you could also see very clear that oh he's having a great time. <laughs> this is a very good tree. On this tree you could also see that this tree is used by the horses that they probably use it like this. Um, I don't know perhaps he has learned it perhaps he has uh, done it himself. All kinds of things that might be very very interesting. But my first impression, uh, anyway, is very positive. This is a very calm group. It's a, it's a beautiful group. Um, condition of the... <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> condition of the horses is, is, is great, um, even though the mares have, have foals for a long time. Um, so they might be... When you look at other places, you can see the mares at this moment. Um, really losing any fat or so. All these mares are definitely in good condition. Anyway, so this is the first um, observation and I well, hope you like it. And if you don't like it, I do. <laughs> and I'm planning to do more, uh, spend more time here, like I said. So in a while I will be able to um, make movies and uh, pictures of, of behavior, which I think is very interesting also for people who have domesticated horses. Okay, the stallion, he was on the back. Uh, the horses are now going, moving to, towards another place. And I hope to meet you another time. Um, and join me on, on this interesting uh, journey in observing horse behavior the way it is. Thank you for watching.